Yeah. Evening. Evening, Alison. Hi, Dee. Hi. Actually, oh, we were just yeah. saying how sad that is because, you know, I said that we got that from um, a, a sort of like a 1980 sitcom that we all used to watch when we were younger. Unfortunately, the lady who um, was one of the leading characters, she's passed away this week, hasn't she? Yeah. Oh, sad. Yeah. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Sonia. I was going to say something. What was I going to say? Oh, I don't okay. know. I love you too. I was looking at Storm. Storm's currently sat underneath my printer. I don't know what she's doing, but she's looking very comfy. She's just sat sitting. Evening, Lane. Hi, Kate. Hey, did you guys get lots? Of, I bet you got lots of snow, didn't you, Kate? Hi, Karen. Evening, Hello. Evening, Storm. Oh, she looked at me. Oh, she's so cute. Yes, yeah, snow. We had a little bit, didn't we? But it's Just it's a flurry. it's been so flipping cold. I've been out with Dad for the last two days. Well, it was minus four when we just come in. Yeah, it was minus seven when I went over to Dad's this morning. It's a bit chilly, but it's actually it's quite pleasant cold because it's not it's not uh, it's quite dry, isn't it? No, it's not. So it just doesn't yeah. feel cold because it's not there's no kind of humidity to it. And it's very pleasant, I have to say. Hi, Linda. But yeah, we did have a bit of snow, didn't we? I did video a little bit of snow. A little bit. But not as much as they've had like down London way and yeah. round we about did, there. Did, Lots of did, snow. Did, not that yeah. we're at all jealous. Just a little bit. You are just a little bit. Dee's going to have another foot on Friday. Oh, nice. We're supposed to be getting really warm again. Lots of rain and really warm at the weekend, I heard. I think Dad told me. So somebody told me. I can't remember who it was now. Where have I been today? Oh, I Your know. Dad. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. Right. Okay. So, um, got a few things to do tonight. Hi, Renee. Hey, I thought I, I have almost, almost finished the book for a face-to-face -face day retreat, which is going to be the 1st of 2023. And that is taking place on the 25th of February in Dunstan in Staffordshire. I finished the book. I'm so nearly. So I'm going to show you that. Um, if you haven't watched it already, I've just put up a YouTube video about the words and phrases, which I'll go over again now if you haven't watched the video. And then I thought I'd talk a little bit about envelopes um, and bags and how we can use them in our mini books. And the reason why I thought this might be an idea is because I've actually used one or I've made one for uh, this book for the um, February retreat. Oh, Laurie's still got lots of snow. Hi, Ali. Oh, we haven't. We had a little bit, but not much. Make right. So bit. on the 25th of February in Dunstan in Staffordshire, our usual place, uh, there's going to be a, a day retreat. are going to be making a mini on the theme of nature. Now, I have used in my sample, I have used simple stories. I think it's called Lakeside Vintage this one simple vintage lakeside this isn't necessarily the papers that we'll use on the day i just wanted to get something finished so you could see what the mini will be like that we'll be making um there will be um another choice which is nothing to do with nature particularly uh, just to give people um other choices um but as, as i said we are going to be um having nature so i'll show you the one that i've made but it doesn't necessarily mean that that's what we're going to use, but it gives you an idea. Hi, Jane. So this is it. I know you like eight by eights. So we have got an eight by eight. Um, and uh, it's not very big, but it's not, it's not, uh, it can't be because we've only got a day to make it. Oh, I've frozen. Is it just me that's frozen or is everybody frozen? Uh, no, just you. Just me. Great. Let's have a look because I can't see what I'm doing when I can't see the thing. Oh, this doesn't want to work. <sighs> Hang on. Technology. It's not working. 
this page is having a problem. You don't say. <laughs> Hang on. I thought fiber was supposed to be quick. Fiber is quick. It's not. That's your computer, it's not quick. I can't even find the class. You're hiding from yourself. Oh, this is ridiculous. Right, let's try again. Right, here we go. So, so this is eight by, there's something wrong with this picture. Right, so this is eight by eight. And what I've done is um, there's a lot of pockets in it and there's a lot of acetate pockets. So um, on the front, we've got a little pocket with some acetate. But this is particularly what I wanted to show you um, is that I've made a little envelope here um, to, to just to put in the front. And I've put a few little uh, photo mats in and cut apart. OK, so um, I was making that and I thought, oh, well, actually, that's something we could talk about in class. So I'm going to show you how to make something like this little kind of policy style envelope and you can decorate it up i mean this one's quite flat it has to be because of, of where i've put it and um, but i thought yeah that was something that we could have a look at so that is um oh, this will not go back in now so and we've got some little cutter parts as well um in the front there uh and then um i've used some of the the foam stickers which i'm i'm not personally overly keen on foam stickers i have to say uh, but I've made them into um, paper clips. So that's the front. And then you open it up and it's not got a bit of acetate. It's not got a spine particularly on it. Um, so it opens up and you've got two sides to it. And I started getting carried away again because that's what I do. And then I had to remember that we've only got a, a day to make this. So I've pulled it back a bit. So this side is less than this side. But on this side, what we've got is we've got another sort of like a, a, a pockety thing here um, with um, photo mats and such like in it. But obviously oh, it's got um, hang on, let me get this one out. It's got um, photo mats and things in there, but that's got like an acetate front on it. Let's try and keep that at the top this time and not squish it down. And then over here, what we've got is a couple of slanted pockets, um, but these have got um, photo mats in there as well. And you'll see that it's got this flappy bit on the photo mat, which is something that I've done um, throughout the um, the book, actually. So we've got photo mats there and, and there that pulls out too. Then on this side, what I've got is I've got a couple of other little photo mats here. So as you can see, they've got a little acetate front on them. It's a bit like a stack pocket because um, we've got another photo mat here up the top. And then you open that up. And I haven't quite finished this yet. But what you've got here are two more of these flappy photo matty things um, that go into these these pockets at the front. And then, like I said, I haven't quite finished it, but we've got a big acetate pocket here. Uh, I will get that finished. I've just I've just done the back. That's as far as I've got really with that. Um, and then here we've got a couple of acetate pockets with um, photo mats in there. So lots of cut parts, lots of photo mats. They just slip nicely into the acetate pockets. put that back I can't see what I'm doing I've lost my glasses so I'm wearing my distance glasses which means I can't see a darn thing what the glasses that you just had no these these are my distance glasses oh, okay. I'll so um we've got those two and then we've got a couple of pockets here like I said I haven't quite finished those but they, there we go so we should get that done in a day I reckon so that is the book that we're going to be making on the 25th of February 
Yeah. So, it absolutely and is a technical is. term. Yeah, absolutely it, technical it term. Uh, so if you want to um, have a look at the um, booking form, what I'll do now, because I got it up a second ago uh, and I've lost it, is I'll just put you the link. Well, I won't actually, because this doesn't want to work. All right, hang on. I'll put you the link up to the main retreats page on the website so you can go and have a look and see all the sorts of things that we've got going on next year because there's quite a few. Um, and they're all available for booking there. Um, so you can go and have a look and see if there is. Right, I've done it now. Oh. If there are any that take your fancy. There we go. OK, so this is this is for the February book. So this is the the nature book. And like I said, there will be um, another option as well. I don't know whether I'm going to use this paper. Um, it cracks. I don't know if anybody else has had that problem with simple stories, but it, it cracks, which is what I'm. You know, James has finished the day and I laughed. And well, we finished the last one in a day. We did. Mm -hmm. Depends how much talking we do. So there you go. So that's um that's our February book. So that oh hang on, storm's coming. Doom, doom, doom. Hello, storm. Are you going? Where are you going? Just coming through. Popping I don't know what she's doing. Are you staying or going? Oh, you're staying. She wants buses. She does. Right, so um, how many of you have watched my video about the um, what storm? The words and phrases. Do you want me to go over the, the if you haven't seen it, do you want me to talk through it again? Or do you want to just go and watch the video? I don't know what she's doing. Oh, whacked in the face by a tail. Sit still. Well, I can't show you. I can't show you the the phrases now because the storm sat on them. So that's kind of decided that. Right now, she um, knows. sometime tomorrow, and I'll no storm. No, no, Mark, she's going to hurt herself. What's she she's coming? she's going to get stuck. Oh Jesus! <laughs> ma, ma, oh. Oh, dear. oh dear. She's literally, she's going to slip off there. Oh, my God. Come on, get off. Come back here. Thank you. I, shall, I think she just does it just for attention. Right. Um, so. Oh, and then she's in the chair. <laughs> that was all the plus. <laughs> you have your chair. Yeah. Right. So um, the words and phrases, they'll be up in the shop tomorrow. Um, and uh, like I said in my video, if I'd known what SVGs were really before I'd asked about SVGs, I would never have asked the question because now I know what they are and what they do. Um, I'm including SVGs because and I'll show you for why. So words and phrases. You have to excuse me here because this is this is my here's one I made earlier. They're all they're all in, in mixed up. So what I thought I'd do is I'll just go through some of the themes so you can see some of them let me just get rid of that because that comes later right so this is disaster one um and we've got some overlap there's there's a couple of them have got like two sheets um because we couldn't we couldn't get them all on one um so uh you, you might find that there's some some overlap but this is uh this is disaster one so um I, I don't know i don't know why i find these so brilliant but i think these are possibly my favorites um just because this is my life uh so these are all kind of like disaster related you know words then we've got we have got disaster two somewhere, which needless to say is living by its name because I can't find it. There we go. So there's disaster two, um, which has got some some overlap, as I said, but these are just like slight, slightly different words and just you know brilliant. Um, Hello, Jen. Hi Jen. Uh, you get the idea, okay? 
Then we've got this one, which I think is, oh no, let's go for everyday one. So these are really family based words, okay? Uh, uh, not right now, Alison, I'm not, no, but, uh, but if I'll come on to that in a minute because um, you do not need to have any fancy equipment. All you need is a computer and a printer. Um, you know, that's, that's all you need. Uh, so this is family one, uh, no, everyday words one. So it's um, kind of relating to family and family time and, you know, brothers and sisters, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, and just, you know, general family stuff. OK, then we've got uh, everyday two, which is um, also quite similar, but um, maybe focuses on on the younger members of a family a bit more, especially if they're kind of like school age and whatever. OK, so you've got that one. Then we've got we've got oh, this is the wedding one um, and uh, the wedding one covers everybody which i love so you've got uh mr and mr mr and mrs mrs and mrs you've got the brides the grooms the bride and groom so whatever your book is about it's going to cover it's going to cover everybody which i just love i think that's that's absolutely brilliant um and remember that you know once you've bought the um the thing you can you can print it out as often as you as you like and i'm going to come on to printing in a minute so there's that one uh, I'll come on to that one in a minute. Right. OK. Now uh, we've got holidays. So we've got two holiday ones. This is holiday one. Um, and uh, so seaside. Uh, this is kind of I would get, I would say maybe this borders on more US Canada type holidays, maybe um in terms of you know camping and, and 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 that sort of thing whereas holiday two is quite focused on seaside and the quite british fish and chips um if you see what i mean oh, um so that's you know they they are they are a little bit different um there so uh i want to talk to you about the next one but if you've got any small children around please can you remove them immediately because I'm going to show you the sweary set. So I need you to get rid of small children, please. I'm not going to speak them because uh, I'll probably get into trouble with YouTube or something. Um, but um, I'm, I'm going to show them to you. OK, so Over your eyes. these are the sweary set. Karen says that all the time. So that had to go in there. And then there's all sorts of ones that you know, seem to fit so perfectly with so many things. So uh, we've got our sweary set. OK, now we've got a Halloween set. But before I talk to you about the Halloween set, I want to talk to you about um, the Christmas set. Well, not the Christmas set, but all of the sets, because when you buy these, what you're going to get is you're going to get your black and white PDF to print out okay i've printed this onto three sheet card so it's on it's on cardstock but it's really thin cardstock uh, so it went really nicely through my printer so we've seen these if you've had the sub box or whatever you've seen me using these already okay and i put these through my scan and cut and i've cut them out um by hand and i've cut them out with this scan and cut okay you're going to get the black and white, but you're also going to get a version that is pastel coloured and you're going to get a version that is bright coloured. Um, and the uh, you still get the black line around the outside because that's more about knowing where to cut round, if you see what I mean. I mean, I've used it in, on this one. I, I kept it on because I just liked it. But you can cut on either side of it. You don't have to have it sh showing at all. So you are going to get basically the three colorways. So you're going to get the black and white. You're going to get the um, the pastel and you are going to get the bright. Now, this is the Halloween one. And I printed this out and I thought, I wonder if you can foil it because I've got a laser printer. Well, it turns out, let me just hide that. It turns out that you can. So I have foiled on my mink. Look at that shine. I have foiled this on my mink. So this this is the, and I'm sure that um, apparently you can use a laminator. I've never tried, but apparently you can. Um, 
so uh, I've I've actually I've uh, foiled those. So they're nice and golden and gorgeous. Which led me on to another thought. I wonder if you can print them onto acetate, which you can. All you need is some printable acetate. So here is the um, this is the one of the disaster ones that I just printed out onto acetate. So, you know, you can print this out onto onto acetate and, you know, cut around it or whatever, which led me on to another thought. It does if you're I think it has to be a laser printer if you're foiling it, Jill, not if you're just printing it out generally. But if you want to foil it, I think it has to be a laser yeah, printer. Powder. Yeah, it's actually plastic. Yeah. Yes. Well, I don't know. Whatever Mark melted. says. So, yeah, yeah. Words. words, tech stuff. Yes, it has to be a laser printer for foiling. So, um, so, uh, yeah. So I thought, can you foil? You can. There it is. So I took epic fail because I was absolutely convinced this wasn't going to work. And I thought that would be funny. Yeah, and I foiled it. Uh, so I foiled the acetate. So my epic fail was not an epic fail at all. It was actually uh, far from it. And now you can foil your acetate. OK, now. Then I have my despite the fact I've just had a big, long conversation about this. <laughs> SVGs. Oh, my head. We're going to include the SVGs, which are great if you've got your cutting machines, etc., etc. But if you haven't got a cutting machine, they're still really useful because SVG stands for scalable vector graphic. And the clue is in the scalable. Even if you are not tech savvy, if you use Microsoft Word, you can easily, so easily increase the size of these. All you've got to do is just add, it, add the, the file as a what do you call it? A picture. And then you can just make it bigger. So or smaller. Or smaller. So what I did so was um I made them bigger, printed them out. That's one of the pastel ones. This is one of the pastel ones that I've printed out bigger, or I've I've scaled them and made bigger. And then I've just I've hand cut this. I mean you can do it on your scan and cut or whatever. But I've I've hand cut this just round to see because these these give you a really good guide where to cut. So you can see. Where is it? Here, here's one I made earlier. So this was my original Christmas wishes size. And that was one I just made. I mean, it was no particular size bigger. I just expanded it. It was it's so easy to do. So that just shows you that you can make these into really big titles. And remember that you can still print these onto acetate. You can still foil them. You know, you can you can do whatever. So um, that was just showing you how easy it is to make these things bigger. But I didn't stop there. Oh, I did foil this, but I foiled it very badly. I only took one thing through. So just saying that you could, you know, you could foil your your uh, big titles as well but that wasn't where i stopped because um i wondered what would happen if you foiled the colored one so i took one of the pastel ones and i foiled it so if you have a look at this is the purple one but it's really i don't know how it does this i don't know if it all always do this but it seemed pretty clever to me that i foiled it and it looks purple but when you tilt it you get the gold so it's almost like it's like two color. So that one was blue and I foiled them both. And then you still get that. I don't know. It's not showing me very well. You still get that gold. When you're when you're tilting it. So it's kind of like bi color, I suppose. So you do get a bit of both there. Now, um, Karen suggested today about printing these onto colored card. Um, so you can print them onto colored card if you've got like a very plain background paper that matches the papers that you uh, you're using in your project. Then obviously you can print directly onto there. Um, and uh, I haven't tried it yet, but Karen and I were both going to give it a go with our foil quill pens on our scan and cuts to see if you can use it that way. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, but I don't know what it's going to look like. So I don't know. But what I'm saying here basically is that there are a million and one ways to use these things 
um and uh I, I think they're brilliant and there's so much scope for more um you know i mean i know i asked you guys originally what words and things you'd like to see this is just a start we can basically do whatever you think so keep the ideas coming um you know let, let me know if you've got any more ideas for words and phrases that you think would be useful um this is just a start okay but i think we could have um you know uh quite quite a big a library quite a big library here um and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them in the shop as sort of like individual buys in terms of you buy uh the know. christmas ones okay and then in the christmas ones you'll get the black and white the brights the pastels and the svg which you could buy as one unit but then we've got things like holiday one and two you can either buy those separately or what I'll do is a, a um, discount if you buy both. But what I'm also going to do is put every single one of them in a bundle that you can buy as a, a job lot, if you like, um, which will have a, a discount on that as well. So there's going to be quite a few ways that you can you can buy these. So watch out tomorrow. I'll put it in the shop. I'll put it in the group when I've done it. Um, but I'm somewhat confused as to how the whole thing works. So it might take me some time. So just bear with me. But these aren't going to run out. So you don't need to worry. OK, there's, there's they're always going to be there. They're not going to run out. They're digital. I don't have a finite number of them. So, you know, uh, don't worry, you're not going to be missing out if you don't get to the shop the second I uh, I put them in there. So so don't worry about that. So there you go. So I hope that's uh, been of interest. I hope that's given you um, some ideas. Karen and I will keep experimenting and let you know how we uh, get on. Um, but yeah, I, that was fun. I really enjoyed putting, you know, playing with those. So we'll see. Right. OK, so what I wanted to do tonight was talk to you about envelopes and um, bags and how we can use them in our mini books. And I've already shown you that little envelope that I've put on the front of my uh, my book for February. Are you doing them as a full set? Yes. Did you say it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hang on. So we've got this little, it's like a policy envelope, and these are so easy to put together. So I'm going to show you how to make something like that, okay? Because they you can put them, you know, you could slip it. I'm just trying to, oh, what have I got here? Oh, here we go. Right, I had to tidy up of my books and I haven't got as many hanging around. Um, so you know, you've got this this book here, and you could just, you know, you could just put your your little envelopes in instead of photo mats. You know, you can put them uh, put them all over the place, really. So that was just an idea. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make a policy style envelope. So what you need to do is grab a piece of paper. Now, I'm only going to make one size, but they're so easy. You can basically, you know, make them any size that you like. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to put together. So... I'm going to use a piece of 12 by 12 paper to make mine. And now I need to find a piece of 12 by 12 paper. Oh, I'll use some of this. I need to, ideally, something quite plain. Now I don't have to worry about ups and downs and roundabouts. So I'm going to use this piece of graphic 45 that I've got. I'm going to make this one the same size. And I'm going to cut a piece eight and a half by nine and a half inches. Eight and a half is the width. Nine and a half is the height. So if you're using a directional paper. So eight and a half by nine and a half. Okay. So you've got a piece that's almost square, but not quite. And just, you know, like I said, you can you can mess about with these. You can, you, you know, this is just a, an easy way to make one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scoreboard. Goodness knows where my scoring tool is 
Oh, there it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to score on the eight and a half inch side at four. So that's four and eight inches. So I've got two score lines there and there. OK, I'm going to turn that round. So I'm now scoring on the nine and a half inch side. And I'm going to score at half an inch. I'm going to score at, hang on, nine and a half, seven and a, no, six and a half inches and not, uh, hang on. Nine and a half, eight and a half, seven and a half inches. OK, so as you can probably see it better this way. So what I've got here is I've got. This is going to form the front and back of my envelope. I've got my little flap. And I've got these half inch score lines there and there. Are you writing this down for me, dear? Uh, no. no, you weren't, were you? You weren't even listening. No, you I didn't know I've done right. Well, no, no, I'm just, it might be easier if you did. Uh, someone on YouTube has asked, what are we making? We're, we're making, uh, we're just going to make a little sort of like a, an envelope insert like this that we can just stick in our, uh, in our mini box. So this is kind of like a policy envelope, I suppose. So what would you say? So just to jot it down quickly. We've cut a piece that's eight and a half by nine and a half inches. Eight and a half by nine and a half. Yeah. And we've scored on the eight and a half inch side at four and eight inches. Yeah. And then we've scored on the nine and a half inch side at half an inch. See six and a half and seven and a half inches. Okay. okay. Right. So now what we've got to do is we've got to cut some bits off. Maybe if I did it this way around, it might be easier. So I'm going to fold it down the middle like that on that score line. Still haven't found my uh, bone folder. And then I'm going to fold that one in like that as well. OK. So now you can see how that's going to go together. So I want to cut off this corner here. So I'm going to kinky my to that. And then. I'm going to cut off this. Oh, I can't see. OK, so this is this is going to fold like that. And that is going to glue on top like that. OK, but I need to take this bit off here. So I need to take where's my white pen. So I need to take all of this, oh, all of this bit off. OK. So I've got a piece that looks like this. So if I lay it down flat, you can see what that looks like. So I've got this flap here. 
I've got flaps here that I've kinky mitered. And then I've got these bits here. Now I need to take off this. So I'm just going to snip up to there. Now we've got these two score lines here, but I only want to fold on that top one like that. OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to burnish oh, paper's cracked. there and there. And I'm going to just burnish across the top there like that. And I think I'm just going to round my corners because this is the top of the envelope flap, okay? So now all I've got to do is put some glue down these flaps here. And that is my little envelope. Now, if you want to cut a a front in for an acetate just cut yourself a little frame decide how how wide you want your frame and cut that before you fold it up but that's basically my little my little um envelope pocket that i can just slip into my book now you can put closures on it you can take your circle punches and and a brad and a bit of ribbon and you can um you know, make those ties that you put through there and put through there and then you do your figure of eight with your ribbon. Nice and easy. But you can also, you know, you can decorate these up. So I've just grabbed a few little bits and pieces of stuff earlier on. I don't know whether this is going to cut. I think it's too. Yeah. I just grabbed a few old embellishments. Don't know if these are self adhesive or not. Oh, yeah. Just want to raise it up a little bit. What have I got? Do you know, if you could see the state of my desk, and yet I cannot find a darn thing.
So you can just, you know, decorate these up to match. Your papers. You could you could use them for um I don't know, gift cards or something maybe as well. There you go. So I've just done, I mean, that's just super quick, but that just gives you a little idea of, you know, you could put some um, photo maps in it now, a little bit of ribbon maybe to pull it out easily. Um, but you've just got a really nice little quick and easy envelope insert that you can just stick into, you know, any book that, you know, that, that you want to now. And that will just fit in there quite nicely and just gives you a little bit of more interesting interactivity. Now, you can, of course, use ready-made envelopes. And one of the things that I grabbed earlier on was I had these, she says, I had these um, vellum envelopes. Uh, what is it? Well, then what do you call it? These little envelopes, these ones that are a little bit see through parchment type stuff. So they're quite fun to use and decorate up. So you could put, um, you know, photo mats that you've uh, that you've already got. Let me just take these out. So you could put, is that going to fit? Oh, it will as well. You could use like these, these, oh, I don't, I've forgotten what it's called. There is a proper word for it. So, so these were ready-made envelopes that I've got. Um, but, you know, I think, I think you can get them off Amazon, actually. You what, sorry? <laughs> well, actually, little cash envelopes are absolutely brilliant to use. You just decorate those up really easily. I mean, you can make those into books on their own. So, you know, you've got this nice little um, envelope here. And uh, what can I what can I add to it? Andrea Mack on YouTube says wanting to come to one of your retreats next year, but at the moment having to deal with a few things. Uh, but we'd love to get away for a few days. You would be most welcome. All the dates um, and everything that we've got planned is um, on uh, on the website, and there is a, uh, a a link to that. But I don't think you're going to be able to see if you're on YouTube. Anyway, it's calsummers.co.uk, and then it's forward slash retreats. But if you go onto the main page anyway, um, it'll it'll take you there. Yeah. I'll just put a link to the classes, shops, and retreats page. Yeah, can do. Hopefully, you might get marked. So you see something like that as well. That's going to look really, really cute in a in a mini book. Um, you know, or actually, you could. You could make a whole mini book just out of them. What are they called? It's not vellum. There's another word. It's not a vellum envelope. It's a, I've forgotten. Anyway, so that's another way that you could use, uh, you know, an envelope in your, in your mini book. And I think those look really, really cute. Nice and easy and quick to do. Now you can, of course, just use ordinary um, ready-made envelopes, just run of the mill awesome. envelopes. No, it, there's a proper name for it. Um, what for a see through envelope? Yeah, That's I can't. Long, it's quiz. Yeah, there's a proper name, it's not parchment and it's not vellum. There's something, it's something else. Like Gla glassine, thank you, Sue. Glassoline, glassine. Oh, thanks, Leslie. Yeah, yeah, glassine. That's the one, and uh, yeah. I, I love them. They're not, they ain't cheap, but I think they're worth every penny. And no, I haven't got any in the shop, I'm afraid. Um, but they're, they're just so nice. And I just think that looks really awesome, actually. It would be great in a little mini book. So that was just a few ideas of how you can use um, envelopes in your 
mini books. Now, I talked about bags as well. And the reason I was thinking about bags is because actually they're not too different. And um, when I was having a bit of a tidy up, um, I came across these really awesome paper bags that I've got um, for uh, just well packaging, really, because I'm a bit of a sucker for packaging. You might have noticed this, actually, in the way that I package things up. But I do like a little bit of packaging. Um, and uh, I got these absolutely gorgeous little um, bags. And there's absolutely nothing stopping us putting these in uh, mini books as well. Now, I mean, you can just use it as it is. You can put some little, um, what do you call them? Photo mats and stuff in there. You can just, you know, pop them in and, and leave them as they are. Or you can always fold this up a little bit like that. Say, for instance, I'll do it around. And the lovely book blessing. She did. Yeah. Put a little bit of glue. Hold on, YouTube. What's it tell? Is it? Down there and there. Okay, so now you've got a nice little pocket that you can put some bits in, and then you can decorate that up. Here's some I got earlier. I don't know if that's too big, actually. Is it too big? Why have I just put my spotty envelope over there? Yeah, glassine is air, water, and grease resistant. I love them. I think they're so nice. I know they're not cheap, but I just think they're really lovely. And David did say when he was in Japan 12 years ago, they had the most beautiful little envelopes with cardlets. They were one inch by two. Oh, they sound nice. Did you bring any back with you? And what have you used them for? We need to see. Pictures. Can you have too much glitter or sparkle? I don't think you can, can you really? You've never heard of them. No. Oh. Anyway, I might, I might well just a quick idea of something that you can do, um, you know, with your with, the, you know, your paper bags just to jazz them up a bit. And you can put, you know, you can put little photo mats in there. You could put um, all sorts of things. You could put tickets in. You could put all sorts of stuff. And then with this one. We've got a nice little pocket there so you can just put some little little bits and pieces in there as well so if you've got some nice packaging lying around because i think we all hoard it i would be amazed if we don't all hoard uh, bits of packaging that would astound me uh then you can you know you can uh use it to add little bits to your your mini books. Does anybody already use packaging and stuff? It can't just be me who has this thing about packaging. There you go. So I hope that's given you a few ideas. You can just, you know, tuck these little things into your your mini books. You can either, you know, buy them ready made, or you can make your own. But I hope that's given you just a few little ideas of, you know. 
I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. So you've got that little pocket there at the back as well. So, um, you know, there's lots of things that you can do. So I hope uh, I hope that was interesting and um, useful. If you're going to do that or you've already done that, then feel free to put some pictures in the group. That would be really brilliant. Amazon, two and a half inch square. 50 for 650. Oh, I'm going to have to go and have a look. David, you are an enabler. Yes, I've already found you. Please, can you buy me some? Put the link up, will you? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's true, D. D says collecting it and finding it when you want it is two different hobbies. This is absolutely true. So, um, is Ellie here? I haven't seen her. Hmm. What do you want to do next week? I say that tentatively because... Do you have any plans for next Wednesday? I'm talking to you, dear. Next Wednesday? Yeah, do you have any plans? Uh, the 21st of December. Yes, because it just occurred to me that I haven't asked Ellie if she could do class, so we might do it. But I didn't know if you've got any plans, because if you haven't, then we'll just do class. I was thinking of taking you to an online class, class that I birthday. teach. Yeah. Thanks. Looks like we'll see you next Wednesday. Not that I mind. But let me have a, let me, give me some ideas of what you'd like to do. I don't make a birthday card. I don't make cards. That's what you could. No, I don't think anybody wants to see a card I've made. I'll leave that to the experts. By the way, whilst we're here, um, I've been out with Dad today and yesterday, which has been fun, um, appointments and stuff. But um, I am not unaware of that thread in the group. And um, I started reading it and I had to stop. I will read it. Um, but it got me all emotional in a good way. So thank you. I know I haven't said anything on it yet, but... Um, I will, but just so you know, um, I know it's there and I'm working my way through it. And thank you. Very nice. It's very, very nice. Right. So there we go. Um, we'll see you next week, I expect. We'll definitely see you on Friday, a week on Friday. Because we've got six by six Sunday, which is on a Friday. But other than that, have a great weekend, everybody. Try and keep warm if you can. Um, and uh, that's all I'm saying. Right. I'll see you guys soon. Lots and lots of love from us. And we'll see you in a bit. Oh, in fact, actually, what I am going to do is um, take some photographs of our Christmas decorations because you're going to love them. I'm just going to finish putting them up. Yes, we've just got one more thing to do. All right, then, everybody, lots of love from us. Thank you for joining us this evening, and let me know what you'd like to do next week. All right, then, bye. Oh.